during the West Face Regiment for Rifles. Bastion is the base where all British journalists and other visitors land when they arrive in war-torn Helmand province. For the first time visitor, it's an amazing sight. A huge supply base for goods and people in and out. The hub at the centre of operations in Helmand. Here in the desert, they supply three square meals a day to thousands. There's a takeaway, a cafe and a shop. Even a running track and several gyms to keep in shape. But after two days in Bastion, it was time for me to move on. Now we're leaving the relative security of Bastion and heading north to Sangin, a forward operating base. Our trip on the Chinook helicopter was dazzling. With the front and rear open to allow gunners to scan the desert, we swept low over the contours of the land to avoid enemy fire. After 40 minutes, we arrived at Sangin, a base at a town along the Helmand River that gives rise to the Green Zone. That's where both the population and the enemy are to be found. I was met by the Rifles Sergeant Major. Basically, this is uh, our sort of home base, if you like, for Sangin area. Obviously, in the outstations, we've got three cutting around where the majority of the troops are. This is basically where myself and the OC and all the other base rats live without actually uh, doing much, so the troops think anyway. But um, yeah, we, that's our accommodation just over there, that's where we live. Um, and we just operate out of here and just dap around. The rifles share the base mostly with Royal Marines, like reservist Peter Bird from Bristol. Bloke up the front with the, the metal detector kind of sweeping for the mines. No way, tell me about that, what is that like to do that? Um, it's kind of good being the bloke doing it, because at least you know you're in control of what's happening. Um, you're just kind of looking out for you know, if there's anything um, out there to get you, basically. It's a long way from home and there aren't many creature comforts. The latrines are like Glastonbury's drops and the showers are rarely hot. Still, the soldiers here get three square meals a day, usually something simple like corned beef with pasta. Bread seems to be in short supply, but Captain Nick Bennett from Marlborough says they make do. We're living as if we're in India, washing the river in the mornings and doing our dobe in the river and that sort of thing. But um, considering the, the distance from the key um, logistics nodes, we do pretty well. The surprise at the centre of Sangin is its beautiful river. The troops make the most of it to relax. This is actually a canal, it's a tributary from the main Helman River which runs down outside the camp. It's a source of morale for the geezers, they go swimming in it. So guys actually come here for a dip? Yeah, right? they all jump in, have a bit of a swim after patrol or come in just to have a bit of social. Although we're walking around this camp today without flak jackets and helmets, that's more a question of the men don't like to wear their armour all the time. Sangin over the years has come under heavy fire, as you can see from the building behind me, although it has been a lot calmer in recent months. Even so, some indirect fire hit the camp yesterday. A mail drop comes once a fortnight, and for the men and women here, that's something they look forward to, a connection with home. You get your lows and lows, you got your crap times, and then when you get this, it's like, yeah, brilliant. It's the best, best part of the day, really. Any mail really is morale, so as long as we can get through, we're happy about it. It's a harsh life, searing heat in the summer, sub zero temperatures in winter. One soldier joked that this sort of soldiering is a kind of extreme camping. Okay, fellas, what we're going to do today is we're going to move. On the whole, spirits are high, there's a great deal of camaraderie. But Sangin has also been a place of suffering. Nine British servicemen have died in and around this base. The hope now is that the worst is over. Yet as we were leaving, we heard one rifles were involved in a firefight just outside the base. Rachel Voice in Sangin for the West tonight. <laughs>